Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's video, we'll be checking out how to create a configurable product in Magento 2 with text watch options. So basically, as we know that a configurable product looks like a single product with drop down list of options for each variation there. And each option is actually a separate simple product with a unique SKU, which makes it possible to track the inventory for each product variation there. So let's get ahead and let's see how we can create a configurable product in Magento 2 with text watch options. So uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be creating one attribute and uh, we'll be giving the option values and we'll be choosing the catalog input type as text watch for the particular attribute and uh, we'll be setting the scope of the uh, particular attribute as global under the product section. Uh, if you are going to create the product attribute already otherwise you can do it at the runtime as well when we are creating the configurable product so we'll be checking it out at the uh, runtime there but before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial there please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so I'll be logging into the Magento 2 Banquet panel by entering the username and password and tapping on the sign in button. So what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a configurable product with the text watch options. Uh, we'll be choosing uh, the attribute as a color attribute with two different options like red and green. And we'll be displaying those attributes on the configurable uh, product page. Uh, on the right hand side just below the price there will show the choose color option and we'll be having two boxes with uh, the text labels like red color and green color there so let's go back to the admin backend panel and let's navigate uh, to the catalog section and then products but before that what you can do is you can also already create an attribute under the product section here under the attributes and uh, you have to choose the catalog input type as text watch set the value required as yes set the scope of the particular attribute as global and then then that particular attribute would be available when we are creating the configurable product under the catalog product section so what i'll be doing is i'll be creating the attribute at the runtime itself so we'll navigate to catalog and products and here i'll be choosing the product type as configurable product and this will bring up the new product page as you can see on your screens now here we'll be uh, choosing the uh, default attribute set that we want to use that has the different uh, product attributes as for the requirement there so for now we'll be choosing it as default and let's set the product name as configurable with text watch let's set the SKU let's set the price uh, there's no need to set the quantity because we'll be setting the quantity at the runtime for the con for the uh, uh, for the attributes that we create and we'll set the weight here and we'll choose the categories and we'll set the visibility as catalog and search for the configurable product there then I'll choose a base image for the product there for the configurable product so I'll just select that out from this particular section here so I've added this black t-shirt uh, uh, basically as the base image. Now we'll go to the configurations and we'll tap here on the create configurations. If we have already created the attributes under store, attributes and products, those attributes would be visible here and we can select them up. But their scope should be global as you can see here the choose size has a scope of global. It's visible and uh, it's visible here thereafter. Now we can create the attribute and the runtime as well. So let's uh, create a new attribute here by tapping on the create new attribute button. And let's set the name of the attribute as choose color. And the catalog input type would be text watch. Whether the value should be required or not, you can select that up update product preview image so we'll choose it as yes for updating the product preview image then here we have the add swatch option so here we'll set it as red color we'll set the description as choose 
chosen or we'll set it as selected red color then we'll set it as red color as the default show view uh, so here we'll set it as a red color selected red color then we add another text watch green color selected green color as the description then we'll set it as uh, green color and here we'll set the description and selected green color so I'm creating an attribute with the name choose color and uh, the attribute values would be selected red color and selected green color and uh, then uh, there's no need to do the advanced uh, attribute property so I'm just showing you the basic ones uh, basic required options that need to be selected to create the uh, configurable product with the text swatch there so here we are having the text swatch uh, button labels as red color and green color so here we'll tap on the save attribute button So here's our choose color. So we'll select that up and we'll tap on the next button. So here we are having the attribute value selected red color, selected green color. We'll select them up and we'll tap on the next. Then we can apply a single set of images to all SKUs or we can apply unique images by attribute to each SKU. So we'll choose apply unique images by attribute to each SKU. We'll choose the attribute name. For the red color, here we'll be choosing a red uh, image, red product image. Similarly, for the green color, I'll be choosing a green image. Then for the price, we'll select it as apply unique price by attribute to each SKU. So price will be setting as 12 and 12. 12 and let's set it as 13 uh, let's set the quantity as apply unique quantity by attribute to each uh, SKU there let's set it as 12 and 12 then let's tap on the next button so here we have applied the images uh, by attribute to each SKU price applied unique price uh, by attribute to each SKU and uh, the quantity has been applied unique quantity by attribute to each SKU there so quantity and price and images have been up, updated as per the attribute there and let's tap here on the next now here we are going to create two simple products that is the red color and the green color the quantity is 12 and the price is 12 and 13 for red and green color let's tap here on the generate products the products have been generated as you can see the weight is 2 because we had set the weight as 2 here uh, initially and let's save the product so now we can choose the affected uh, attribute set so we can add the configurable attributes to the current attribute set add the configurable attributes to a new attribute set based on the current or we can add the configurable attributes to an existing attribute set so if we are choosing this option then the uh, attribute set of the particular configurable product that we are going to create would also be changed and this attribute would be added to the test attribute add configurable attributes to new attribute set based on the current one so if we are going to choose this option then we have to give the name of the new attribute set and the new attribute set would be assigned to this configurable product otherwise if we have chosen uh, whichever uh, attribute set we have already chosen for this configurable attribute then this uh, would be uh, the current attribute set uh, or the current uh, or what we'll be doing is we'll be adding the configurable attributes that we have created to the current attribute set and the current attribute set would not be changed for the uh, configurable product so if we have chosen it as default then the default attribute set would be set for the uh, particular configurable product and the current attributes uh, current configurable attributes will be added to the current attribute set itself so I'll just choose it as add configurable attributes to the current attribute set and I'll tap here on the confirm button So this would save the particular uh, configurable product with text swatch there 
and as soon as the product gets saved we'll be able to go to the storefront and uh, with the particular product so this is uh, going to take a few seconds there for the product to save so we have saved the product as you can see and if we scroll down here here we are having our two different uh, simple products that have been uh, created there they are enabled right now their price their quantity and their weight is visible here so here let me refresh the watches category here so here we are having the configurable product uh, with text watch so if I tap on this particular product this will bring up the configurable product with the text watch so here you can see that we have the uh, what we say as the uh, attribute name that is uh, choose color and the values red color and the green color so if I choose red color the red image would be brought up if I choose green color the green color image would be displayed to the customer now similarly as I've created it uh, for the uh, choose color you can set it as color and you can set up red and green similarly you can set up size then small medium large as per your own requirement there and the values uh, or the uh, attribute values uh, would be available for the customers to select uh, depending upon the uh, attributes that you've created you can create the attributes for the t-shirt like color size and provide the values for the same so that the customers can select the values as well as with the requirement there so yes that was much about the how, how to create a configurable product in magento 2 with a text watch and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions queries sessions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uds.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead